Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the invitation to this online event of the European Automobile Manufacturers Association, which I gladly accepted. I still remember our physical meeting in Brussels last year, and uh, I hope that all of you managed to escape the crisis then already present uh, in our debates. The European automotive industry is an indispensable link in Europe's industrial value chain that we have to preserve for the future. It was facing a global drop in demand even before COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, it has been and still is under pressure to undergo a technological transformation. Digitization and climate change have been driving developments in many areas, including vehicle technology. In the light of the coronavirus crisis, production sites worldwide had to close down unexpectedly. In this difficult and cost-intensive transformation phase, the industry was also hit by production shortfalls and a slump in economic activity. It is good that we have demonstrated our determination and ability to act at political level in Germany and Europe. Our support measures are of historic proportions. In several European countries, VIT rates have been reduced temporarily. This has stimulated demand and been helpful for the automotive industry in particular. In Germany, we have been heightening this effect by granting a lump sum of up to 9,000 euros for the purchase of a new electric car. In order to secure growth and employment, however, we need to look beyond tackling COVID-19 crisis. We have therefore launched both a stimulus package and a future package in Germany. The European Recovery Programme pursues the same objectives. It opens up a unique opportunity for Europe to make a fresh start. This instrument will help us in Europe to become more digital and sustainable, to master the economic transformation and create forward-looking jobs. Ladies and gentlemen, joining forces with you, I want to make sure that Europe continues to be a strong base for the automotive industry and will become a leading international market for the mobility sector of the future. Together with my counterparts from several EU member states, I have been supporting the establishment of battery cell production in Europe. More than 20,000 jobs could thus be created in Europe in the 2020s. We want Germany and Europe to account for 30% of the global production of battery cells. In addition, the further expansion of charging infrastructure is also a key element of our stimulus package in Germany. The use of data is another key for our future competitiveness. This is why I'm doing everything I can do to support development of the Gaia-X project so that it will reach a European dimension. In the context of this project, numerous enterprises and organizations are working closely together to set up a trusted and secure data infrastructure. Our aim is to strengthen Europe's data sovereignty and provide a basis for innovation and new business models. Specific fields of application of Gaia-X include connected and autonomous driving. In Germany, we are currently elaborating rules to permit autonomous driving in selected areas. Ladies and gentlemen, we have taken some first step and further steps must now follow. Let us work together to help the European automotive industry emerging stronger from the crisis. You can always count on my support. I wish you a successful event with many positive, encouraging insights and ideas. But most importantly, stay healthy.